Welcome to the second episode of SCW Dark, and we're getting set for some action in the women's division. It's Sakura Hiro, a member of the White Crane Clan, the Hakuji Clan. No, wait, it's not Hakuji. Is it Haku? Well, it's Japanese for the White Crane Clan. Making her SCW Dark debut. She's going into this match. One win in... Oh, that's right. She's undefeated. It's the Irish last kicker. Look at her come straight fire, Becky Lynch. Look at her running down to the ring for her SCW debut. That's right. Becky Lynch's first match in, in on SCW Chaos. It's dark, but it doesn't make a difference. Becky Lynch is here to make a statement. She's here to show everybody what the Irish last kicker can do. And I gotta tell you, being a former Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion in the WWE, you know, she's already there. <laughs> Trained by Finn Balor up in Ireland. She used to be a flight attendant. Becky Lynch knows about the hard work. She knows about the amount of... Um, uh, look at this. Casey J, the Queen Bee, making her way to the ring. I wonder what she's doing here. Her and Sakura have been having some problems since last week. I don't know what the deal is. Then again, Casey is a straight up bully. <laughs> she doesn't like anybody. In the women's division. I don't know if she likes anybody here in SCW. But look at that. She's going to sit right next to my on the table here. I, she's not going to put on a headset, though. I guess I don't get to talk to her. have a little interview. Oh, well. You know, uh, you can see all this stuff on the World of Dynamite. If you go ahead and subscribe now, you can check out all of the latest SCW-related news and highlights, matches. You can even catch our last pay-per-view, SCW Invasion Japan. And that was, was a spectacular event, might I add. We had a television tables match. We had a, this first spectacular six ladder match, which was won by Matt Riddle, who is here tonight. I'm sure Matt Riddle is going to be watching, waiting for an opportunity to cash in that spectacular six briefcase. It could be tonight. It could be next week. could be at the next pay-per-view. For all we know, it could be at a live event. Matt Riddle could totally do that. Maybe he could cash in on a, the Intercontinental Champion. He can cash in on any singles title. Even the hardcore title. Yeah, even the hardcore title. Well, Matt Riddle doing that's a stupid decision, but he, he can do it. Now look out here. Sakura and Becky Lynch going at it on the outside of the ring here. Look at that. No. It's going for the clothesline. Nice counter there by Becky Lynch. She's coming in with a hot streak of fire on Sakura Nahiro. She's got a tick for tack here. We've got Casey J over there. Who the fuck's that dude in the blue suit? Seriously. Boom. Drop kick by Becky Lynch. Who's that man in the blue suit? My God. <laughs> Look at the forearms by Becky Lynch. Oh, another one. This time knocking Sakura down. God damn. Oh, she's going for a suplex here. And there it is. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was a powerful suplex there by the Irish last kicker. There's a reason she's a former two-time Raw Women's Champion. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Nope, she's only won the title once. I apologize. Okay, so there's a reason she's a former Raw Women's and former three-time SmackDown Women's Champion. My bad. I'm sorry. There we go. Becky Lynch knows how to bring it to you. That's why she she spits hot fire, just like Granddad from the Boondocks. She'll eat your ass on the MIC. Talk shit to her. <laughs> now we're back into the ring. Sakura Hiro you know, with the advantage, coming in here with some momentum. Boom! Right there, face first into the turnbuckle goes Becky Lynch. And now Sakura Hiro, what's she going to go for here? She leaps over there on the top rope and Frankenstein's Becky Lynch. No hands. Here's the cover. Here we go. Oh, she just, just a whole one count there. That's Sakura Hiro's specialty right there. She can hit a Hara Karana from anywhere. Hard Irish up into the corner and Becky Lynch goes down. The Irish last kicker is down. Uh-oh, talking some smack there is Casey J. Oh, she's got Sakura's attention. Sakura turning her back. She don't want to do that. Becky Lynch taking advantage here. Front from behind. 
Oh my god, what a right hand. Black Becky Lynch. ACJ doing her job. She did her job. That was the plan. And look at her walk away now. I think she, 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 she did what she came to do. Butterfly suplex there by the Irish woman. Right here in front of me. In front of my table. Uh, big kick by Becky Lynch. Uh, big chop by Becky Lynch. Uh, big kick by Sakura. Right in the gut. Oh, she's going for a forearm. But Becky Lynch wasn't having none of that. Bush. Push her away in the collar and elbow. Oh, big right hand by Sakura. The white crane, right crane clans. Shingo and Jin, as they call her, their, their good partner, good friend, Nalai. They started together. They started wrestling together up there in Japan. And now they're here in America. I'm sure it was a heartwarming exploder. I was just about to just about to wreak all their uh Oh, Harakarana! See you again! That's two. That's two. There's a heartwarming hometown return. Home return for a country return for the White Crane Clan. They didn't get to. Jin and Shingo was on the card. Sakura was the part of the. Uh, just backstage. Poor Sakura. You know, Jin ended up winning that battle royal, that, that best of Japan battle royal. Here we go, the cover off the uppercut. Instead of some European flavor, we got some Irish woman flavor there. Taking the back of Sakura, taking it like a woman. Back Becky back up into another one. Another leg lariat straight to the face. And then now Sakura begins to build momentum. Boom! The bicycle knee strike! The crane, the crane, the crane strike as she calls it. Here we go. No! Becky Lynch kicking out at two. Sakura almost had it. Ugh. It's a little cold here in the arena in, uh, in Sacramento. Wait, are we in Sacramento? No, I don't think so. I, I've, guys, I forgot where we were. Somebody tell me. <laughs> they said they're gonna tell me when the main card, when the, when the main show starts. Okay. Ouch. Becky Lynch. Oh, Becky! Becky with the disarmor. She's got her in the disarmor. Why she let her go? Is that a rope break? I, I, I didn't, I, I couldn't tell from the, from the other. I couldn't tell from this angle that like Sakura did not have a rope break from, from my angle. She's got a knee drop here. Here's the no. Oh, the knee drop almost gave Becky Lynch the three count. And I gotta say, if that would have gave her the three count, then I think so Sakura. That would have meant Sakura died. That was a knee straight to the top of the head. Here comes another exploder. There it is. Chucking, yeeting Sakura Hero across the mat. Nope, Becky was going for it, but Sakura Hero wasn't having none of it. She turns her around, takes the other leg, and steps over into the STF. The STF is locked in. Oh, but, ooh, look at that counter by Becky. That was a beautiful counter. That was nice. She could have rolled her up for a cover there. That probably was the mistake for Becky Lynch. And now Sakura Hero. Probably going for that lung blower. She's setting Becky up. She's it. Becky fights it off. Oh, she gets kicked right there. And there's the lung blower. There it is. Oh my god. Beautiful move by Sakura Hero. The cover on the Irish. No! Becky Lynch kicks out of that lung blower from the second rope. That had a lot of oomph behind it, if you know what I mean. Sakura Hero now. She's got to do something different. She's got to get. She's got to. She's got to capitalize on the on a prone Becky Lynch. She's putting her back up there. She's probably going for it again. She's probably going for it again. Becky fights her off. No, another long blower. Looking like a code breaker from the second rope. Here we go, and this time Sakura gets the win. We're back here. We're back here live on SCW Dark and set for a tag team match between Adrian Jesse Robinson and these men. Me and YOGs. Here comes in. Y O 
G. That's what they do. That's what they do. I didn't mean to cut off JoJo like that, but that did, I was just showing you guys that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they say when they do that little dance. The individual OGs making their tag team debut. <coughs> Saw last week B-more make his in-ring singles debut against Jesse Robson, but he came up a little short. No pun intended. But now they're together. Big Money and B-more against Adrian and Jesse Robinson. Adrian's taken Jesse under his ring since the B-more. Since the B-more. Since the NYOGs attacked him two weeks ago in the backstage area. And now Jesse has a little extra help with Carmella in his corner. Or their corner, because he's got Adrian with them too. Tag team match here. Here we go, the main event here. To end uh, end things off here in SCW Dark. Jesse's gonna try to take it to the big man. But big money ain't having none of that bullshit. Oh, he missed that punch. Oh, but he got that spear though. Jesse's down. Adrian trying to trying to build some momentum for Jesse Robinson, trying to get him to get back to his feet. Carmela's just sitting there. I'm sure she's I'm sure she's an essential part of this team. <laughs> Big Money now having his way with a little guy. That's what that's what Big Money likes to call him, a little guy. B more does the same thing. But he's he's small himself. Nice punch there. And another one. Here comes Robinson, builds some momentum. Boom! The clothesline. He flips, but he didn't go down. Oh, he went down that time. Somebody get Adrian in there. I want to see him. I want to see Big Money up against Adrian. Jesus Christ, we all want to see that. We all know we want to. Foot in the face by Jesse Robinson. Oh, he's too fast. Like a nap. Another clothesline to the back of the head. Jesse Robinson, he don't stop. He knows how to take you down, even if you're bigger than him. Here's the cover. Here we go. Oh, barely a one count. As Jesse Robinson created a near fall for his team. Oh, I think he was looking to tag in Adrian, but Big Money wasn't going to let him have that shit. Yeah, sit, the fuck down. sit the fuck down, Jesse. Off the splash in the corner. Oh, we got a double team here. Jesse better get the fuck up out the way. Be more flying across the sky. The assistance of his tag team partner and, and good friend, Big Money. You know, with the red they have on and the red bandana, are they part of a gang? It wouldn't be, you know. Oh, oh God. I think, I think he just back, I think he just back raked him. Boom, big right hand. Another big right hand. Jesse Robinson beginning to build momentum. No, missed the clothesline there. Big Money wasn't gonna let him hit that clothesline there. No, wait, that's B-more, I apologize. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? See that? Big Money had that mel that man held for a while. And big Big B-more came in and kicked him in the gut. That's team that's some teamwork right there. NYOGs only been here in SCW for two fucking weeks. I'll be showing some great teamwork. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm sure these guys these guys have been a team for over uh two years. They didn't start together, they met at a at a at a show. At a house show for an independent show, and um, for an for, at a show for an independent show. <laughs> yup, that's their backstory. They hit it off. Here we go. The tag has been made, and here comes the big man or the other big man. Look at the teamwork there. Jesse Robinson flying in with a clothesline. That was nice. Oh, but B more knocking him. Jesus, B more knocking him down. Oh, and here comes the other big big man. Here we go. These two big behemoths. No, he didn't knock Adrian down. But Adrian knocked him down. <laughs> wow. Adrian came in like a house of fire with that clothesline from hell. And that's what it looked like. Now we got the two biggest men in the in the in the match today. Or the match right here. That didn't make any sense. Big knee there by Adrian. And now the big man chopping him. Oh god! Oh my lord! The German suplex. I don't know if Big Money's ever been beat up like this in his life, but he should get used to it if he's in the ring with Adrian. That man, look out, ref. That man does not care. The big the big sticker splash in the corner. And another one. Adrian building momentum. Look out, Big Money. Oh, another clothesline from hell. JBL would be proud. Oh my God, how is that only a one count? I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, look out here. And the counter. Oh, nope. The counter for Adrian. And the tag is made again. Oh, the spine buster. And there's a frog splash from the top. That was beautiful. 
Here we go. Adrian knocked him down. Oh, and a two count. A two count. Adrian and Jesse Robinson were looking to put things away, right? Like just like that. Oh, the clothesline. He knocks him down with the clothesline. And now Jesse Robinson looking to fly. He can fly when he wants to. Oh, Jesse Robinson missed. Big money moved out of the way. Oh, God. And that clubbing blow to the side of the head of the little guy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call him that. Jesse Robinson, the longest reigning hardcore champion in, in our company's history. Has the most successful title defenses for any champion. Here we go. The cover. The cover. But Adrian didn't to break it up because Dan Mahogany couldn't couldn't find a good, good goddamn position. Oh! And he knocked him down with the axe handle. And another one. That was just a straight that was just a straight up attack. Here go flying in. Oh no! Rock bottom! A rock bottom! Or you're an Augie, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm calling it a rock bottom because that's what it looked like. Big Money wasn't having none of that bullshit. He wasn't gonna let him Jesse hit that clothesline. Oh my god! Did you see the elevation? Jesse Robinson got it. That was some hang time. That was higher than a than a diving move from Will Osprey. Jesus. Somebody get that man some milk. Uh-oh. Jesse Robinson. Uh, the, sh the shoulder thrust into the corner. Oh, he's not going to let Big Money get that tag. Jesse Robinson knows. He knows. He knows. This is his first tag team match, but in SCW, but he knows. He knows. Trust me. Jesse's been around the block. Oh, oh he's in trouble. The 19-year-old is in deep trouble. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. One-handed. That big old Uranagi, I think. Oh, he knocks him down with a clothesline. Jesse trying to build the momentum. Oh, my lord. That man almost flew out of the ring. And the spine buster from Big Money. Now he's just having his way with the, with, with the guy. But Robinson is not backing down. He didn't get that form. Oh, he didn't get that grab. Oh, he's going for some kind of a cutter. Oh, oh. Jesse Robinson, like I said, he's like a nat. He's too fast. You can't grab him. You can't get him. Jesse Robinson. It's like a... It's like a... He's all over the place. He didn't get that drop kick, though. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Over the head with the beel toss. Jesus. Big money. What is he doing? He got the tag. Let's let Jesse get the tag. And there's the tag. Adrian is in. Here comes the big man. A clothesline. The, oh, nope. He's ducking the clothesline. Oh, he ducked that punch. Another clothesline. It, Big Money tried a cheap shot there, but Adrian wasn't going to let him have that shit. Look out! Wow! Belly to belly toss. That was nasty. Oh! Oh, there goes Big Money. The other big man is down. He just smacked Adrian in the face. And you know Adrian is pissed now. Oh my god! What a power bomb! What a power bomb! That may be it. The cover! No! Big Money just pops the shoulder up, and I honestly can't believe that. Oh God, I'm out of breath. I'm so, I can't believe that power bomb did not do it. Oh, look at the strike of Adrian. Jesus, looking like Goldberg. You know that's his favorite wrestler growing up. Goldberg. Where's he going now? He's going after Big Money. Big Money's in trouble. Oh, the spinning scoop slam on the outside right here in front of me. I'm telling you, Adrian's a wrecking ball. He's cleaning house. Big Money. Oh, Big B more. You know, he's playing possum there. I don't know why. I keep getting it mixed up. Look out! Just went outside the ring, and there he goes. Oh, he's got him by the throat. Choke slam into the backbreaker. Oh, God. Jesse's got big money prone on the outside. We may be seeing a victory here. No, 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 no victory, no victory. I thought it was over, but I was wrong. Oh, big money just... Got Adrian. Oh! Adrian missed the stinger splash. In the clothesline. No, he didn't go down, though. Oh, God. The belly to belly. Where's Jesse? I think he's still down. Could be dead. So I'm going to go check on him. Let's hope he's right there. What the hell is Adrian doing? Uh-oh. Is it time for another powerbomb? Yes! Oh, shit. Well, look at his hand. It could be more's hand, yup. Bad positioning for Adrian. 
I don't know what Jesse's doing. Don't don't uh, don't don't question it. I'm sure he's leaving real soon. See, there he goes. Oh, the full Nelson slam! That was a beautiful move. Jesus Christ! Is there anything this man cannot do in terms of power? Oh, be more ducking that. Uh oh, be more has not been able to get much offense here. Oh, foot in the face. He's trying though. He's trying. Big shot to the gut there. Uh oh. Big left hand by B Moore. You know, that's the fist he doesn't he has without a glove. Look out. Look out! Wow! Holy shit! Where did he come from? The referee didn't see that until the last second, too. B Moore is down. Oh, big right hand. And there goes big money. Big money's down. And where the hell is Adrian going? Look out! That man! <laughs> it hit a moonsault! Oh, and that is it! Victory Screech! What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. I do not believe what I just saw. Adrian, man close to 300 pounds, just did a moonsault. Nope, anything's possible for wrestling. We got Keith Lee doing that, Dominic Dijakovic, Brian Cage. <laughs> I love this show.